Hey guys, Zach here. In this video, we're gonna talk about cold calling and why I think it's the most valuable thing you could ever learn in any business, especially virtual tours. So cold calling, what should you expect and why the heck should you do it at all? Well, the phone, the phone is the most powerful tool, I believe, in all of business. And you need to develop a skill or a rapport building mechanism through the channel of the phone. This is very, very vital. And understand this, I get it. A lot of folks are scared to cold call. I used to be horrified. I would have sweaty palms, I would I'll put, I'll put the number into my phone and not press send and just stare at it and pace around my office. There was multiple things I've done in the past where cold calling has been miserable. Uh, I would sweat everywhere and I would just honestly have a horrible experience with it. And then once I would call the number, um, it would go even worse from there. Well, here's the thing. When you cold call someone or when you call them in general, what happens is you get instant feedback. And that's very important because in your mind, in our human minds, we build up these different ideas or excuses or um, concepts that are all made up. They're self-constructed. And the way to overcome this or break through that barrier is by picking up the phone and calling someone. In this day and age, with text messaging and different social media platforms, a lot of folks become passive and they lose this skill set but I promise you, you can build up the muscle of cold calling in your brain to where it's not only easy for you, but you enjoy it, it's exciting, and it's a life-changing experience. Because, check this out. Over time, when you first start out doing cold calling, you're not gonna be very good. It's just gonna be pretty bad, actually. And that's okay, everyone starts off bad. But over time, you get better, you get a little bit better, a little bit better, and then, after a while, it becomes a breeze that you go to that first. Your first your first idea, your first step forward is a cold call so that you can get instant feedback. This way you can know, should I follow, follow up with this person or this team or should I just mark them off the list, right? If you dedicate a few days a week to cold calling for your virtual tour business, I think you will see dramatic success um, versus just emailing or sending letters or random doing random acts of marketing. So I want you to put in your mind that cold calling is very important and there's a place for it. Um, so over, over time I can teach you guys um, some nuances and some little things to help you, but, but think of it this way. Cold calling is important. Without it, you're not gonna know and you're gonna make stuff, stuff up in your mind. So when I do cold calls, there's a couple important things that, um, tactics and, and steps in the process that you need to understand. Number one, you need to understand the business structure of the office you are calling. So if you were to call a realtor or a broker cold, or typically a realtor has no admin, and that number goes right to their cell phone and they get it, and if they answer, it's the person you're trying to talk to. But if you call a hotel or an apartment complex, an apartment complex has a property manager. That property manager has probably an assistant property manager, and they probably have an admin, Admin and even even they, they might even have a real estate agent on site and when you talk to that admin you need to ask for hey is the property manager there because you could start selling your service to an admin who can't say yes even if they love you so it doesn't matter how good your pitch is or your script is if you're not talking to the right person so make sure you're talking to the right person first that is vital and the way you do this is you make the calls and ask questions and figure out who the right person is to talk to so when it comes to an apartment complex here's a simple script for you to use call the person or call the apartment complex you somebody will answer you say hey is the property manager there if they're an on-site admin they'll be able to go Yep, she's here, or nope, she's busy, or whatever, and you'll be able to get her name. And if, if you get forwarded to her, great. Just start talking to her and asking questions. And you can say something simple like this. Hey, my name's Zach. Um, just wanted to ask you a quick question. My company shoots 360 tours 
is this something you're interested in? And she may say yes, no, I'll, most likely she'll say maybe, because here's the deal. Your first call isn't gonna close any sale, but you do wanna see, hey, I would love to book a time to talk to you and for us to have a call, when would be appropriate to do that? She would then, or he would then respond with, well, you know what, Thursday at four o'clock, call me, we can talk then. I say, cool, I can shoot you an email, calendar invite, get it on our calendar, and we can go from there. That's all you gotta do. Now you have an appointment to discuss your